Hey, I'm John with Steam Woodwork. Today, we're going to be doing a head-to-head -head competition between the Merca 6-inch Orbital Sander and the Festool. Now, what I have here is the Festool ETS EC 150 EQ Plus, and I have the Merca Duros 650X CV. Now, for this test, I have three different substrates. I have a piece of maple veneer uh, particle core, which is already pre-finished. We're going to see which one takes the finish off the quickest. I also have a piece of uh, veneer plywood, which we'll be using as well, just to check and see what kind of scratch marks we get on it after applying a pigmented stain. And then we also have a piece uh, solid maple that we'll be doing the same on. The reason I'm using maple is because it'll be easy to see scratch marks and uh, that sort of thing when I put on the pigmented stain. The reason I'm using a pigmented stain is because the pigment will sit into the scratch marks and will show them up a lot better. Uh, I will be using Festool sandpaper. We'll be using 80 grit granite. We'll be using 100 grit uh, Reuben, and we'll be using the 150 grit granite. So, we'll be using that on both sanders, so we won't be using the Merca Abernet on, on the Merca sander. We will be setting the Festool MIDI up at the lowest vacuum setting. We will be putting them both on the highest RPM rating. Now, I know, I know what you're going to say. You're not supposed to do that. But what we're doing is trying to get an apples to apples comparison between the two sanders and putting them up to their highest rate, I think will get us that comparison. Uh, there, I will be taking this uh, interface pad off the Merca as I would be putting the soft pad on the Festool. That way it's comparable to the Merca. And I have it right here. We're putting that on and uh, we'll have a go at it. One thing to note right off the bat is that the Festool has that many more holes in it. The uh, center line of holes on the Merca do not line up with the holes in the pad. Uh, this, I'm not entirely sure if it will be an advantage or a disadvantage. But uh, the only other way would be to use the Abronet on this one to get the same suction, I would believe. But then you're not comparing really sander to sander. You would have the variable of the different sandpaper involved as well. I don't want that. I want it to just to be a very simple comparison between the two sanders. So we will start with the Festool. 80 grit granite, removing the lacquer and the stain off of this panel here. Now I will note this is a three millimeter orbit. The Duros is a five millimeter orbit. You got to take that into consideration. This will probably take material off faster, whereas this one should produce less scratch marks on the veneer when we go to stain it. So let's try it out. Now I understand there's probably a million holes in uh, this test. Um, I'm only coming at it from my own perspective on what I would think would be able to tell me what would be the better sander for my needs. If you find it helpful, that's awesome, that's great, that's why I'm putting it on here. If you don't find it helpful or if you have anything against what I have on here, I'm not trying to attack anybody. I'm simply trying to figure out what's the best sander for my own needs. So, uh, I believe the Merca was a bit faster than the Festool on that test. Um, the Merca definitely went through the veneer in a lot of spots. Um, Festool did not burn through the veneer anywhere. A little bit on this edge, but not much. So. That being said, let's try 
try this one. We're going to go with uh, 150 grit on this with the granat. We'll start with the Merca. I'll be throwing some pencil lines down. If I can find my pencil. Just to show me basically where I'm sanding and when I believe the sanding is uh, completed. I'll be throwing those down. That way we understand if we have an even sanding amount of sanding on both sides of the piece. Anyway, let's take with the Merca 150 grit granite on uh, this veneered maple veneer on particle core. Let's have a go. One thing to note about the two sanders is that the Festool you can get three different densities of the sanding pad, whereas the Merca you cannot. One uh, advantage of the Merca though is that they have that black interface pad so you're not wearing out the hook and loop on your actual pad nearly as quickly. So now what we'll do is I will take some stain, put it on, wipe it off, and we'll see what we have. Okay? Here we go. Here I'm using a rag to apply the stain, but I've found a lot of times if I'm doing a lot of flat work, a mini roller, usually made of uh, foam, works very well for applying stain quickly and evenly. So on the Merca side we have one, two spots that I would consider would have to be resanded, but barely. I mean, it's it's touch and go on this one. It's what I'm talking about is like these little swirls. This one right here, here, and here. They're consecutive, so they're kind of in a row. Spot would be here. There's a bit of a cluster right in here, but not bad. Not bad at all. On the Festool side is a bit of a different story. Start here in the bottom. The corners will always be the worst. So you can see that very clearly. That kind of skitter mark right there. That would have to come out. And you can kind of see it swoop up and around this way. Kind of come down like that. So this one here, you can see it kind of swoop pieces right in here. Kind of a skitter, skitter up like that. The third one runs like this. That one's not nearly as bad, but it's still there. That's what I'm talking about, how they kind of come up and come around like this and go off. There's these ones where it kind of comes up and around here. And this one where it's swirl, 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 swirl up. Kind of going like this. All right, so on that test, the Merca won with only two spots. The Festool had one, two, three, four, five, six that would need to be replaced. Not replaced, but resanded. So you get the picture. The last one is going to be the solid maple. It has a lacquer finish on it, so we'll remove the lacquer finish and then we'll sand it. We'll start with 80 grit. We'll go to the 100 grit that we, we haven't used yet, that's fresh paper. And then we'll go to the 150, and then we'll stain it because, uh, in my experience, hardwood sometimes stains different than a veneer. So we're going to try that. Here we go. The reason I'm holding that hose underneath my arm is so that the weight of the hose isn't dragging on the back of the sander and uh, causes me to have to consistently put pressure on the front of the sander to keep it in even contact with the workpiece. Um, you don't have to do this, but you will find your hand getting tired after a little while, or your wrist, um, if, you're having, if you're fighting that the whole time. So I just tuck it underneath my arm. It's easy to keep the sander nice and light on the workpiece. I don't have to push down at all. Um, I haven't really found a good way to keep it out of the way. I suppose I could suspend it, but I really haven't put much thought into it at this point. All right, so we've sanded up to 150 on both sides. Festool, Merca, 
paprika. Let it cool down just a little bit. We'll hit it with some stain and see what happens. <laughs> yeah, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Fun fact, there are sawmills in every state and they produce over 100 million board feet annually. And my son, who I'm holding, has the hiccups. All right, on the solid wood test, um, there's a little light spot here where the festool didn't quite sand very evenly. This side is quite even in the penetration of the stain. This side is a little bit off. This could be a shallow spot in the wood, but uh, it doesn't seem to be. So anyway, the Merca did better, giving us a more consistent sand pattern, which helped us to get a more even stain penetration. This side we still had, I mean, you will always have, you always have to be really careful with uh, sanding marks in the corners and such, but uh, I would say the Merca won on this one again. And it took the finish off faster. Well, that concludes our test for today. Uh, overall, the Merca removed uh, material faster. It had a more consistent scratch pattern. It had less scratch marks on the piece. Um, it is a five millimeter orbit, so I knew it would go faster uh, rem of removing the material. Uh, it had less holes to extract the dust. So we got to take that into consideration as well, because apparently Festool says that the more holes mean less scratch marks because uh, you have more even dust extraction. Uh, I have used the Abernet uh, sandpaper. I find it to be superior to the uh, Festool because it stays cooler. It sands more evenly in my opinion. Uh, the only downside is, is it, it tends to wrinkle and tear when you're doing edge work. Uh, you can draw your own conclusions but this is from my own personal experience. We were using the same sandpaper. We had the uh, dust extractor on the exact same setting. The only thing, and I was using the same technique, same hand. Uh, yeah, so I think this is a pretty good test. I would appreciate your feedback. I'd also appreciate it if you hit the like button and if you subscribed, because uh, I'll be hoping to put out a lot more of this type of material in the future. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time.